So, the Eibusha gave us, gave us a day of Shabbos to, to rest and now we to connect with the Eibusha to say Shabbos is Yem Hashem. And in order to help us out, Hashem said we can't do Malacha. Or we shouldn't get distracted. It sometimes it gets a little bit hard for us. We need to do, get some things done, so we try to find some Aitzis. Sometimes we'll try to ask a guy to do things or sometimes. Sometimes uh, maybe people will try, try to forget it, see if they could get a, a child to do something with them on Shabbos. So the shy is, are all these things Eiskahalten? Is it okay to do these things on Shabbos? So we're going to focus on the din, dinim of Kitanim. Could you have children do things for you on Shabbos? What are the typical cases that people usually like to do? Well, usually either having the light switch turned on and off, having a child do that, or going to shul, having a kid carrying a back, carrying a child carry a backpack to shul. We're talking about normal mm-hmm. Catholic sakanas. Talking about normal things, Catholic sakanas. Yeah, there's no sakanas of fascia. It's regular, regular day. So is is this iskahalton? Is this okay? So. <coughs> So a lot of times people always think, what's the issue with having a kid do a malach of on Shabbos? We always think that the issue is chinuch. That's even chinuch the kids. But there's a big, uh, but there's a big issue that, uh, that a lot of people are not aware of. That chinuch is the smallest issue when it has to get when it comes to kids doing malach on Shabbos. The biggest issue is that there's sometimes, regardless, forget about the about chinuch. Sometimes there's an issue there also to make a child do malach on Shabbos. Telling a kid to turn on a light, making a kid turn the light bulb on on Shabbos could be Issa de Isa. Um, how so? So there's an Issa, the, the, the garden of Amis, Naf Kufi, the Alad Amad Aleph, learns out from the Pasuk, Le Sechilam, Le Sechil Dam, Le Sechil Dam, and also by Shkot Samur Ramashim, and also says the Lashon Le Sechil. And by Tumas Kayanim, it also doesn't say Le Sechil, but there's a Lashon, you shouldn't be Matame, you shouldn't be Matame, the Kayanim. The Gemara learns now that it doesn't just mean that you yourself shouldn't eat, shouldn't eat these things in the come tummy. It means that you shouldn't make children, you shouldn't feed something also to, ch- to children. And from here we learn how to call it Kula, that for a child, for an adult, even if, regard, if it's not your kid, it could be someone else's child. To feed a child something not kosher is an yeah. Isr de Raisa for the adult. Forget about Chinuch. So to on Shabbos, giving something to a kid and, and, to, and telling him to carry for you on Shabbos, this is just an Avim. It's a, it's a day isa for the for the adult. In other words, it's exam is a pasuk. Mm-hmm. It's exam the learning from a pasuk. It's a yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a day isa. Making a making a cut and do something for for your adult is it's a day isa. Space is on a pasuk low so high. Like seichlon. Like seichlon dam. Yeah. So this is in the first in the first Mara Malkin. The Alter Rebbe says in Simshim and Gimel in Sifrei. Alter Rebbe says, "Lis space loy iser be a dayim to feed a iser take child also the chol adam min atayra." Iser min atayra. I feel any bar have on a cloud. Even if the kid is one day old, the kid is one day old. You give him to drink something not kosher. It's iser de raisa. She never lay seichlum. But pishah chachamim lay saachilum like tanim. Says he should not eat and go chacham dash. He shouldn't feed it. But I feel dvarim hasur midivrei seifrin. What if the thing you're feeding them is only a iser de rabbanon? So still, it's also la hachidli. I feel who tzarech lekach. So even if it's only iser de rabbanon, there's still a iser le sachilum mid rabbanon. You're not allowed to give it to him. Vafilu who chayla, vafilu who tzarech lekach. Even though the kid needs it, vafilu who chayla, and even if the kid is sick, kol shein kol shein be sakano. As long as there's no sakano, it's also to feed it to him. Kamaisha also regardo, just like an adult can eat it. You're not allowed to make it cause a child to be accustomed to being a child Shabbos or Yom Tiv. I feel the dvarim hasurim mishum shavus, even something which is only asher midarabanan. Or the kid doesn't know. It's the, the kid doesn't know. Yeah, the kid doesn't know. The kid could be. Uh, he could be. Uh, All right. I just want to say the last part. The last part is more cool if it says asher lahargila. So Lahagila, if it's Dvarma Sumi Shum Shmos, so maybe if you do it one time, you know what I'm saying? No, I just want to be Lahala. Right, no, so what's in the said It's Asa. The last one, the Hargila, you saw the first one, the Prima Gatan Taisha, that means to tell them. As oh. opposed to me feeding him. Oh. Tell them to do Mulwakan.
And and also. Yeah, before yeah, before he says he's in the Rabana, he's giving he's giving a dogma. But so so what we saw so so the big news over here is that usually say we we think that the the issue with ha- having a child do something for you on Shabbos doing a melacha is a question of chinuch. He has to even chinuch the kids. But the chinuch is the smallest issue. Al Tavis says over here that there's a issue de raisa to make a child do melacha for you on Shabbos. So telling a kid to carry something for you on Shabbos Rabin. Is the, the adult is doing it? It's a deraisa. What's the difference if he's doing it or you're doing it? It's still it's a deraisa. It's not the right, right thing. And it's a, it's a deraisa. You didn't even. You didn't even. You didn't even, you didn't even say anything. It's like a feeding deraisa. It's like a feeding deraisa. Starshva doesn't. The altar talks over here about making the child doing it, feeding him something. What about telling him to do something? So the altar doesn't say klar, but the derashva and the shulti givayim brings down from the from the fiske rid. That even to tell a child to do a malacha to carry something for you on Shabbos is also Isser Deir Aisa. It's also included in the Isser Deir Aisa of Leisach Yilam. And so, and if it's only Isser Deir Abana, so there's an Isser Deir Abana of Leisach Yilam. So this is regardless how old the kid is, regardless if he's a Gil Achimah, regardless if you are the, if it's your child or someone else's child, it's also. So the male, all the shots of is having a kid turn a light on or off. Mm-hmm. So turning the light on, so especially if say incandescent bulb, it could be isn't there iso, telling the child to do such a thing, and turning it off, even though it's not shin sefer kufa, but I'm saying so, so, so it's still also, you're not allowed to have, you're, not, you're not allowed to tell kids to do such things, mm-hmm. and carrying, giving a kid a briefcase to carry on Shabbos and shul is also is also like their also, even if the kid is like he gave him, you're giving him something to carry, it's also. Giving a briefcase to do what? I didn't, mm-hmm. hear, I didn't hear you. Did you? Giving a child a briefcase to carry the shul on Shabbos oh. is weiter after because you're not allowed to make a child do mulach on Shabbos. What, what do we consider the <coughs> ages that you would say a child? Regardless, even one day old. Yeah. This is because a lot of times when we think of, a lot of times we think the issue is chinuch. We think the issue of having a kid do mulach for us turning off light bulbs or, or carrying things to shul is the issue of chinuch. But it, but that's a misconception because. Chinuch is the smallest issue over here. Regardless of Chinuch, before Chinuch even comes into the, into the picture, there's an Isser de Raisa to make a child do Isser. Nothing to do with Chinuch. The kid could be one day old, you're not allowed to put a bag of chatnas on, on a child which is one day old. You're not allowed to feed him anything, it's Isser de Raisa. So, so, and if, and if it's a, if it's an Asr Midarabana, so there's an Isr Midarabana of Lay Seichon. And so this is regardless of him. So, and so the next aside is what if, what if the kid doesn't do it, you don't tell him to do it, but the child does it on his own. Right, you're holding the kid in your hand and you pass by the light switch and you stand there hoping he'll, hoping for him to, to, to hit the switch. So, so let's say let's, uh, before we get this, uh, before we get into the issue of chinuch, let's assume, let us assume there's no chiv of chinuch. Either you're not his parent, or the kid is not old enough, mm-hmm. and he was like he didn't reach the age of chinuch. So, this so this would be permitted, permissible only if the kid doesn't know that this is what you want him to do. If the kid knows, he knows the routine that Tati holds him by the light switch because he wants the light to be turned off, <laughs> and he's doing it for Tati because, and he's doing it for his father, and not just for his own pleasure, for because mm-hmm. he not, not just for his own fun. That's also an issue. Right. But he, if he doesn't, he doesn't know if it's it's a issue or not. Though I said that he has no clue. He just want to make his father happy. Right, but it, but it, but it doesn't matter because you're he, he's yeah, like your shliach, just like just like you can't have a guy do melacha for you on Shabbos, you can't have a child do melacha for you on Shabbos. Um, this uh, this uh, this is if the kid is, so if the kid doesn't realize the kid is unaware you just make casually pass by and the kid uh, sees light switch and decides to flip it so if he didn't reach the age of chinuch then fine but yeah then there's no issue. Hmm? If he either only if he reached the age of chinuch if I'm saying if it's the father and he reached the age of chinuch you have to stop him or if the kid even if not but the kid is doing it for the adult he knows that's why you're holding him there. So it's also an issue. You can't have a child do melacha for you. If he's doing it for himself, and you don't reach age of and there's no chiv of chinuch, so you can leave him. But he's doing it for you, then you have to stop him. So this is in number two. Do you want to pay him? Right. And 
So he says, Katan Aiv al Divri Tayra, Lahana Asai, if a child is doing Malacha and Shabbos for his own pleasure, Kagain Sha'ichan Avelis, he's eating Navelis Aish Mahal Shabbos at Sarkai for his own needs. Ain Basin Mitsugan La Prishin. Basin meaning other people who are not the parent, parents is not obligated to stop him. What about the parents? Oh, so soon we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to Khinuk. So we didn't get to Khinuk yet. No, but it's, it's not an issue of the Khinuk, it's an issue of the stun. Of what? Of stam. It's, it's, it's also to them to do it. They buy it to do it. Ain't Beitin of la Frisho. Yeah. Why? Why should Beitin get involved? Because the kid's not doing it. It's a so machlek is in the Gemara. The Beitin has to get involved. No, but I'm saying, why should the Beitin get involved in the first place? It's not their child. The, with us, Allah, we're saying they're not obligated. They're not. I know, but why even have I mean that Beitin should get involved? If you have an orphan, the bait didn't get involved. So there's a machlekes in the Gemara. How do you read the pasuk Le Seichur? Does it mean nah, don't let them? Uh, how do you read the pasuk? Does it mean don't let them eat? Don't don't let them eat something not kosher? Or does it mean don't feed it to them? So it's a machlekes in the Gemara. There's a half a meaning that basin is mitzvah to stop them. That basin is mukhiyev to stop them. The halacha is that other people are not the parents are not mukhiyev to stop them from doing yisur. It's not kol yisur or avim zera zeh. He's not doing yisur. No, say why would. He said, "Why we bring it was mechay? Have I made a mistake? Because yeah. kol isol, kol isol, are they mitzvahs? Can say maybe, maybe, maybe you could say. I mean, this might sound crazy. Maybe you could say the phrase ain't based on mitzvahim lafrisha means that the etzem it's not aser, but men at Tyra the etzem it's not aser. And maybe that's just the way of saying." It. I mean, it could be the shayla the havnin is also that maybe other people have a chiv of chinna. Maybe there's, maybe other people also are responsible for to help their other people's children. But halacha is that they're not. So it goes on weiter. The part that I put in bold this is an important part for us now. If the child is doing it for an adult, even if it's not the father, you have to stop the child from turning on, from doing the malacha for you mm-hmm. if he's doing it for an adult. You learn this after the Mishnah and Shabbos that if a child, if, if the house on his house is on fire, right, in a case where there is no life, there's no risk of anyone getting injured. So if a, if a, if so, if a non Jew comes to turn off the light, to put out the fire, you don't have to stop him because he knows he's going to get rewarded for it. So, but ultimately, he's thinking he's he's thinking about for himself, not just he's not doing it just for the for the Jewish person. But if a child comes to put out the fire, you have to stop him because the child is doing it to, for the for the owner of the house. So we learn out from there that any child a child who does a malacha for an adult, regardless if, if he's doing it for the adult, even if he's not the parent, there's a, there's, there's no chiv of chinuch, you have to stop him from doing it for you. So back to the question of walking, holding, holding the kid next to, on Shabbos next to a light switch and hoping that he'll flip it on or off. So if the child knows that's why you're holding him there, so that's the issue. You can't let him do it. But you're doing it in purpose. You're doctor. Yeah, but the issue is if you, who is he doing it for? And, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're, Let's say the room is dark and he said, you want, you want me to read your book? And he's like, but he's not light. And you take him back to the street. So he, he will turn on the street because he wants to read in the book. So he, he's doing good for himself, but, but you know, you want the light also. You know, no, but, that's the, but, but, but you know, no, but you know he wants them, he knows you, he knows you want him to turn on the light. If you bring him, bring him to light, he knows that's the reason you're bringing him there. Uh-huh. If you tell him go play in that room and the light is, and the, and the, and the light's off and he turns it and he turns on the light in order that he can play, then... I have a mitzvah, I have a to, to, to him not to do it. So in a case like that, maybe now, um, saying, who's he doing? He's doing it for him, he's saying he's doing it for himself ultimately. Even if he's doing it for himself, like you said before, I have a khir to him not to do it. No, not if he, no, only if he's doing it for an adult. If a child, if a child, if there's no, if he's like, he's, 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 uh, he's uh, about 15 months, and he's a year and a half old, he, he, saying he doesn't understand that you're not supposed to do things on Shabbos, so you're not pleased to stop him. So such a kid, if you're standing next to a light switch, and he turns it off on his own, it's fine. For himself. If, for himself. If he's doing it just for fun, if he knows that's the reason you're holding him there, and you're and you're all looking at the switch and hinting, uh, uh, that, 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 that's also. Awesome. If he knows the routine that you always walk not walk by the switch and open to do it, that's the issue. Two questions. If that's you say, you, I thought what you said was that if there was a fire, a, a, a child is not allowed to put it out. If there's no if, life and death. If there's no life and death. Yeah. But just the idea that there's a child, 
means that there's, a, there's an issue of life and death because a child is a, it's not it's not uh, by, by right. nature. Okay, everyone's not, outside the house. The house is an oh, clearing. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Not in the house. No. Yeah. So, the second thing is, can a child go? If, let's say if parents are in, a, in one of these hotels where you have to go through a beam to get through the front door. The electric doors. Yeah. Can the child go through the through the beam, or that's not allowed because it's he's it's us or because it's 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 a, it's a, one of the thirty nine mil four. And also, if he's doing your feeling, yes, yeah. yeah. If the shy, if you reach the age, of, if you reach the age of chinuch, you have to tell them, you have to tell them you can't do that on Shabbos. Wow. In Brooklyn, it's a lot. And what's the age of chinuch? Oh, so we're gonna, so we're gonna, it's about two, between two and three. We're gonna see soon. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's not so clear that these beams are also really. I mean, the, in general, people are mocked about it, but it's not really not, not so clear that it's also because there's no physical contact involved. And it when, gets when, into the question of grammar. Right. The halacha, where I think, I don't think anyone says it's mutter. When you say the halacha, what does that mean? I mean, in general, practically, people are practically, about what do the rabbanim say? Huh? Yeah, that's what I mean. But, but okay, but I'm saying that that's no, that that that's, that, that's absolute halacha. I mean, people need no, no, But the practical halacha, your rabbi is going to tell you that's the halacha. Okay, so some rough. I'm going to say, let's 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 say, in the first line, the first line, the first line, the first or second line, it's a two line. Is there any issue of to rent trafers? Any making a child do any issue, trafers or me giving him something to carry on chest. So there's three psukim. There's one, one by, by eating blood, drinking blood. One is by shkatsim and amashim. Wait, what's the second one? Shkatsim or Mashim, a kosher bugs. Shkatsim is the insect bugs. Yeah, Thanks. and the third one is by Tumas Koyanin, the coming Tamit. Uh -huh. All those three, from those three psukim, we learn out that there's an iser for the adult to make a child do it. And mm -hmm. from there, we learn out to kol We learn out mm -hmm. the entire thing that any iser, that making any a child... Any not just anything yeah. involving eating. Putting clothes on a child which is made out of kalayim, it's mm -hmm. iser it's also iser it's it's right. Right. Okay. And... Fine. So going... Oh, right. Go, going, on, going on right there, so yeah, so that's so the, the light switch is uh, saying, you see, you're not allowed to tell the kid to, you're not allowed to tell or hint for a kid to do a light switch. If the kid didn't reach a, to turn off light switches or to carry things on Shabbos, mm -hmm. if he does it on his own, so if he didn't reach the age of Chinuch, so then you don't have to say anything. And if he's not doing it for the adult. And... So the question is, where, the, where did this misconception come from that people think here it's okay to have children do things for you on Shabbos? Mm -hmm. To wear backpacks to shul and to... And to Carry and to, a sitter. Yeah. yeah. So where does that come from? So there's, there's a halacha. There is a certain case where chachamim were matir, a child, to do a iser de rabbanon, something which is only rabbinically forbidden, there's a specific, there's a certain case where Chacham or Mater for the child to do it in order that where they, in order that the adult shouldn't come to do a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. What is that? The halacha, there's a discussion of what happens if you're traveling on Erev Shabbos and you're not going to make it to, you're not mm -hmm. going to make it home before Shabbos comes in and you have a lot of money with you. Mm -hmm. What do you do? So Chacham or worry, they know that naturally it's hard for people to, to let their money go like that. So they said, if you have an animal with you, so put it on the, put it on the animal, let the animal carry it. Right. What if you don't have an animal and you have a child with you? So they say, they said, if you have a child which is not bar mitzvah, even though you reach the age of chinuch, in this case, since we're worried that the adult is going to come to carry it himself, you could give it to the child to carry for you. <laughs> but on condition that the child is only doing a biblical, a rabbinical provision, <clears throat> meaning so the God says if you. Uh, um, it's meaning if it's a Rishus Harabim, Midit Mina Midraisal. So we'll see that the Shulchan Aruch says you have to give it to him once he already started walking, in order that he doesn't do a Akira. And you have to take it from him before he stops walking. Because if you give the Malwala to the kid to carry, and he starts walking and he stops, the child did Isra you made the child do Isra 
And that's it's a derisor for the adult. Therefore, you can't do that, even in such a case. So what, what's the answer? How do you, I mean, it's always going to happen, no? What's always going to happen? I mean, that they're going to start and stop. So you would have to, right, so, you, so it, it would have to be, you would have to make sure it's not, so this is this is a specific case. So there's this, in this case in the Gemara, the Chachamim were mat there for a child to do a Isr de Rabbanan. So the question that comes up is, to, there's a big Machlik Hashem, could you apply it to other cases? And what would be the Rabbanan? How would he do it? So because the Isr the Manateh of carrying is only if you picked it up and you put it down. Right. So if you gave, someone was walking and you gave it to him while he was walking and you took it from him before he stopped, so the person yeah, never picked it up and he never put it down. Okay. So therefore it's only mid mm. <clears throat> So, so we're, so we're trying to figure out where does this conception come that people have on the Alana that it's okay to have children do things for you on Shabbos. Mm. <clears throat> so it's from, <clears throat> so there, there's this din, there's this case for a chacham or a matir, a child, to do something which is only also mid The big machlekes is, could you apply it to other cases? Other cases where there's a great need, and, and there's, a, there's a great need for, for having a locha done on Shabbos, mitarabonon, a isudarabonon, could you have a child do for you on Shabbos? Most of the Roshayim say that you can't. That is also, you're not allowed to have a child do for you on Shabbos. There is a shit of the Rashba. The Rashba has the opinion that it's okay. <coughs> that, that in certain cases, of a great need. So this is, this is, this is a big machlekes. So <coughs> generally, the halacha is that it's also. If there, if there is a case, if sometimes if it's only Isra Rabbanon and there's a, there's a, and there's a, and it's not Stamaza, it means that there's not a real need. It's like you went away, you went to, you went away for Shabbos and you forgot to bring the pacifiers and your kid can't sleep, and he's gonna, he's, he's gonna be up half the night. So that's the <coughs> So you have to. So that's the case. Where, that's the, that's the shy the words that were to ask her up. And even then, it's only even then it would only be mutter if it's a. It's a drabona. If it's a real Rosh Hashanah, which like a Eastern Parkway, you know, according to uh, according to a lot of a lot of places, it's a Rosh Hashanah. There's no there's no heter. There's no heter for a child to do such a, such a thing. <clears throat> so let's read this inside number three. The Alter says this in Simon Reish Sanat Avot Sifyud. So what do you do if you're traveling on Shabbos and you don't you don't have and you have your wallet with you? So he says, You could give the wallet to the child even if he reached the age of Chinuch, and even though he's your child, nevertheless, Chinuch is the obligation to, to be Mechanechim is only with Rabbanon, and Chachamim were mad here to do this in order that you shouldn't come to, the, come to do it on your own. Now the Alter Rebbe says, still you have to be careful that you don't do a Yisra de Raisan. When we call Makim, Kishin Eisnei Loi, if you, when you give it to him, I feel a Chedesh Vesheta, or even if you give it to, 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 to a Sheta or, or a deaf mute, Tzarech Litanei Lahem, Kishin Akhir Ragleim Laleches. You have to give it to them after they already started walking. Then you have to take it back from them once they, or before they stop. In order that they shouldn't pick it up and put it down. Commission is where the Maila has explained earlier. Why? The kids not bar mitzvah. What's the issue if he picks it, if he does that kid and the He says, even though the adult is not obligated to, even though you're not to make sure the children, children, children rest on Shabbos, he comes up and there's an Isra de Raisa to feed something not kosher to a child. Kamaisha is bar, besimin shimem gimel. Again, well, we explain the simin shimem gimel. So, too, over here, <coughs> there's an Isra de Raisa. I'll tell you about Fir Zais in the third paragraph, number three. Vizesh and Nason Lahem. Vizesh and Nason Lahem, Kisei. This that you give the child the wallet to carry for you on Shabbos. Before Shabbos, even though you gave it to him before Shabbos started, since you know the child is going to carry it for you on Shabbos, and this is the reason why you gave it to him, mm-hmm. giving him something to carry for you on Shabbos is as good as feeding him something not kosher, and which is a isra de raisa for the adult. Therefore, the only heter, even in such an extreme case like this, is only if the child doesn't do, pick it up and doesn't put it down. That you take it from him and give it to him. 
שאז אין בזה איסר של תירא, ואין לו איסר איסר מן התירא. אפים הוא ברשו סרבין גמורו, והתירו לי חכם איסר של דיברים כדי שלא יאבי לאסיס בעצמם. Even then, there's more room, even then, even if there's a extreme shayla, if, if there, there, there is a real need, you have a guide to it before a child. It's more, it's more make it, you have a guide to it first. A lot of, according to a lot of chacham, according to a lot of shayim, there is no heter to have a child do something even also in the Rabbanon. So maybe if any shayla comes up, and if something needs to be done, the first, the first option, yeah, the first option is have a guide to it. And, And if there's no guy and there's only a child, so we're talking if there's a, it's a really it's an important case, like uh, I'm saying it's, you know, saying, uh, like you said before, the child doesn't have, <coughs> he doesn't have his pacifier, you don't have, you don't have food for the child to eat. It's very hard <coughs> in the house, and you want to get you know. And you can. I'm saying, I think it's such a... Hmm. Well, this is the older people, so maybe it's... 75, 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%.
the Mishavur brings down the, some other Pesachim who argue and they say that the mother also has a Chiv of Chinuch. There is such a shit. The Alter Rebbe Paskin said the Chiv of Chinuch is only on the father. And then we say in the beginning that it's not chinuch that he ha- that that it's an isin that a taira. Right. That's to, that that's to make him to do isir. To make la, a child okay. do isir. But la hafrisha. La hafrisha. That's that's uh, that's chinuch. That's fine. Okay. Unless unless a child is doing it for the adult. If the child is doing it for adults, then regardless of chinuch, he has to stop it. So the parents see it, uh, the kid doing something, the father the mitzvah to tell him not, but the mother could keep quiet and let him do it? Yeah, it's not recommended, but <laughs> the mother should also be the chan of her children. And, but it's the father has the chiv. So if I see a kid in shul doing something wrong on Shabbos, I know the mitzvah to tell him to stop. Someone else's kid? Yeah. You don't? No. Uh-huh. So maybe it's an Abbas Yisrael, if the kid will listen to you and you, have a, and you can have Yashpa on him, so, there's a, so maybe then it will be recommended. But there's not, but Achi of Alpi Allah, there isn't. Um, so that's, so the father has a Chiv of Chinuch. So what, what age, what, from what age is there, is there a Chiv to be Mechanechim? So the Alter Rebbe makes a Chiluk between Mitzvah's Aseis and Mitzvah's Leis Aseis. A Mitzvah's Ase, it depends on each Mitzvah. Certain Mitzvah's making Kiddush. In order to do the mitzvah of Kiddush, the kid needs to understand what Shabbos, the Ibrisha gave us Shabbos to rest, so he needs to be, he needs to be a bit, he needs to be old enough to understand that. When it comes to, and when it comes to tzitzis, he needs to know how to put on his, how to, how to, how to wrap himself in a talus, how to do things properly. If he'll see a dayin, he needs to, he needs to know how to do it, he'll see a dayin. So each mitzvah, whenever the kid becomes of the age that he is able to do it, that's when the chiv starts. So mitzvahs, I say every mitzvah is different. And, so that's it, so number five. And after it says, Veshir hachinuch the mitzvah's ase, who bechol tinek leti chalifusi. Each child, according to his intelligence, via the ase and his knowledge, bechol davar leti nyanav, according to what he know, according to what it is. Kagain, for example, hayedea meinian Shabbos, a child who knows about Shabbos, that Hashem created the world and he gave us a day to rest, chay lishmaya kiddush vehavdolah. He is obligated to hear kiddush and avdolah. A child who knows how to put on the talis properly according to halacha. So too, I all other Whether it's midrais or midrabanon, once he reaches the age where he is capable of fulfilling this mitzvah properly and knowing how to do it, that's when the father has a chiyav to teach him. What about for isurim? What age, from what age do you have to tell the kids not to do things? So the Alter Rebbe says that there's one, there's one shear for all of them. The shear is when the kid is unable to understand, we don't do this. You don't do this. You're not supposed to do this. The kid doesn't understand why or why or why or he doesn't understand why. As long as he, <clears throat> as he can understand, you're not supposed to do this. You're, the, he already reached the age of chinuch. So that's uh, between two and three. So that's in the second paragraph of five. Okay, but wait, wait but th- this would be sort of the rice, right? Even for the Rabbana. Well, let's say Moksa. When they start to tell a kid, Moksa, toys. So I mean, once you reach the age of Chinuch, you should, you should tell him. Yeah, it starts. And the parents are intelligent is the kid. What? The parents are intelligent the kid. How smart is the kid? Some kid at uh, I mean, two and a half. It's a hard idea for adults to understand. <laughs> I've never well, learned it. this. So, yeah. I mean, uh, once once the kid can understand that these these things we don't touch on Shabbos, so then uh, no, because I'm thinking back. I remember, this, you know, very little. Uh, but I'm just saying, maybe maybe uh, <clears throat> there's some leeway. Uh, and so also, we'll see what Alter Alter Rebbe says. The second paragraph in five, Alter Rebbe says, after the chinuch the leisase, when it comes to chinuch for a sudden of leisase, the bein shall teda, bein shall divrayim. Whether the whether isra the raisa the rabbanon, who bechol tinuch le shehu bar havana. Any t- child which is a bar havana, meaning shenevin kishayimim le shezeh asher lasis, that he can understand when you tell him you're not allowed to do this, or you're not allowed to eat this. That's your, you have the chiv to tell, to, to, to tell him. 
Aval Tinik Shena Bar Havana Klal. He doesn't understand that all. Ain Avi, you mean he doesn't understand that you know, you're not supposed to do this. Ain Avi, even the Suva Lamani, you tell him not to do this, and in a second and two minutes later he's doing it again, not unaware that he's doing something wrong. If the father's not Machiav to stop him, Lamani, on the second side of the page, Val Karchai, Mila Echa Machali Sasuris. You're not, the father's not going to stop him even from eating not kosher things. Or you mean the Shabbos, or from doing Chil Shabbos, I feel the Isra shall tear up, even if it's an Isra day Raisa. Kivan Shain the Maven Cloud, the Indian Masha, and Lena in Afrisha. Since the kid doesn't get at all what you're trying to stop him to do, so therefore there is no Chivel Chinuch because he can't be Machanachim if he doesn't get it. So, right, so, so with uh, so holding a kid, so yeah, so if the kid reaches that age, you have to stop him. So, holding the kid by the light switch, turn, hoping he turns off the light. So, if the kid is old enough that he understands that you're not supposed to do this, so the father can't do that with him. <coughs> and so, that's yes, that's regard to having kid, kids do a certain amount of Shabbos. And what of so essentially not the Altarebbe so the Altarebbe says that even the father that the father if he didn't reach the age of Chinuch he could let him eat Nevelis and Tevefis he could let him eat Achal Yisrael Siris so obviously this is highly unrecommended any if I if the parent cares about the about his children obviously the father should not let him should not let him do this and this is because the thing the eating not kosher things is Metanta Maliv Al Moyach and al kach that even that in there's a there's machlekes or shayim if a child can nurse from a non Jewish mother. So some 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 mishayim say that it, that it's aser and the halacha the Rama passing is that it's not aser, but you still shouldn't do it because it's metanta maleiv amleach. Drinking milk from a from 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 a geisha mother is metanta maleiv amleach. It's gonna do this. Not mitzvah of cholavakum. And. Hmm? <laughs> and the reason the Rashva, the Rash, and the Ritva says the reason for it is because since they eat not kosher things, therefore since the, the since the milk is coming from not kosher animals, therefore even the milk, even though they're not eating the actual not kosher things, even though you think well, it went through some filtration, but still it's matanta maliva maya. And a child should not feed from a geisha mother unless unless there's nothing else, unless there's no one else to nurse from. And so much so that Rama, that Rama says even if the mother if the mother ate something which wasn't kosher, the mother should also the Jewish mother should also not nurse her child if she ate something not kosher. Because he wouldn't nurse for any of the not Jewish mothers. Yeah. Until yeah, until she was when he came when he came to his mother. Yeah. And, and what's even more interesting though, the Taz adds onto the Ramah, the Ramah says, the Ramah says the mother, if the mother eats something not kosher, she shouldn't nurse her child. The Taz says that's even if it was she was allowed to eat this thing which is not kosher. Meaning also she has pikuach nefesh. She was sick and she needs She was to sick, that's pikuach nefesh and she had to eat something not kosher. Still, she shouldn't nurse her child. Yeah, I'm not sure how long you have to wait. Six hours, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe 24 hours. <laughs> for 24 hours. I'm not sure what the shear is. Yeah. How about parents that, that have their child like three years old and do something else on Shabbos like or on the kid would carry a bag of food and a kid for the kid to eat and chew it. The kid's not aware of it, but the, 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 the father is making the kid come to school and carrying on the, the layer. So, is that, is that for me? <clears throat> so, so that's so that's a very that's a very sincere that's a that's a very it's a, it's a very big issue. If it's it could be an issue there, I saw. But the kid is only three years old. Right, but the, the adult is making him do it. If the if the child did it on his own, the child he said, okay, we're going to show, and the kid took his pacifier and he took his stuff with him on his own. So you didn't make the child do it, and there's no if there's no chiyuv, and he didn't reach age of chinuch, so you don't have to stop him. But if you put on the if you give the kid the backpack to carry to show. So if you're going through a Shusar Abin, so then the adult did the Isser Deraisa. The child isn't doing it Isser, but if you made the child do it Isser, the adult did it Isser. Did you just said before that a father, why would the even give the child uh, who's uh, that age doesn't know what's right and wrong? He doesn't need to stop him. He doesn't need to stop him. 
but to make him, to tell him to do something else, to make him do something else. For a adult, if an adult tells a child to turn on a light switch, especially if it's an incandescent bulb, the father did it Yisr Deraisam. There's no difference if he turned it on or if he told the kid to do it. It's a different Yisr. One is Chil Shabbos and one is the Yisr of Leiseichlum. We learned this out from the Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Leiseichlum Dam. You should Leiseichlum Dam. You shouldn't eat blood. And the Gemara learns out, that the Gemara reads it, Leiseichlum. You shouldn't feed it. <coughs> so we learn out from the Pasuk that there's an Yisr Minat There's a biblical prohibition to give something not kosher to a child or to make him do something he's not supposed to do. <coughs> so to, to put clothes, which is made out of kalayim shatnis, to put it on a child, even if he's one day old, it's a, it's, it's a biblical isr for the father. The father did it isr, not the child. Telling a child to carry something in a Rosh Hashanah, the father did it isr day Raisa, not the child. So it doesn't, it doesn't help anything. It's telling a child to turn on the light switch is a bigger isr than the father turning it and hitting it with his elbow. <laughs> Hitting with your elbow is for sure only Asr Midarabana, right? That's for sure only rabbinically forbidden. But for the child to do it, that's, 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 uh, the child to turn on normally, that's Isra for the father. I noticed he said incandescent, so what's the right. So there's questions, other LED, so, so LED, oh, yeah. other types oh, of... Oh, not fluorescent. <coughs> fluorescent, I don't know. Could, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if they didn't yeah. know what fluorescent yeah. is. Yeah. I just know incandescent. Yeah. Most, I think most places say it's, it's a deraisa. Uh, yeah, but, but, but even with the incandescent, you're not making any photography. Right, but, you, but, the, but it makes light and it gives off heat. So I think a lot of his question is, what's the main... A fire has a few four, I guess you can split up into four things. That's a flame, it gives off light, it gives off heat, and it, and it leaves the ash. So the question is, what are the main things? Well, yeah, but that's exactly what I'm saying. That it's so exa- the question is, what are the main components of fire? So w- what I understood that the majority of the places can say that if it gives a fire and, again, and it gives a heat, that it's, it's a good item. <clears throat> Even though there's no S. That, that's, 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 that's what I remember, yes. And <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's, it's not so lucky with, ca- with carrying things on Shabbos. And... Yeah, and also yes, yeah, so even though you're not looking to stop the kid, but but you but yeah, but if I'm saying it's not it's, it's personally not healthy for the kid to do his sudden. And what about for a child <coughs> a child who is a child needs something on Shabbos. The child needs his so so we're not we're not so we're not talking anymore about children doing his sudden, but could you have a guy do things for a child on Shabbos? So is the halacha is you're not allowed to have, you're also not allowed to have a guy do things for you on Shabbos, except, except for in certain cases. One of the cases you can have a guy do things for you on Shabbos is for a sick person. If a person who is who is sick to the point that he's bedridden, and he or his whole body he he's kind of, his body is in his whole body is weakened, and he has a, and he has something he needs, so you can have a guy do it for him on Shabbos, even if it's even if it's a iser even if it's a biblical, biblical prohibition. So the halacha is that for a child, we're also lenient. That we treat all children like a chayla she'im beisakana. We treat all children like a sick person. And if there's something that there's a, that a, a sincere, a real need for the child, you can have a guy do it, even if it's a biblical prohibition. So if the child doesn't have his pacifier, or he run away and he doesn't have it, or he needs, he doesn't have the food he needs, so you could tell a guy to go to the store and buy it for him. You could tell a guy to go drive a car to do any issue. Right, so that's, a, yeah. oh, so, so that's another question, yeah, for the silver, and, yeah, that changes some things. Yeah, well, you said only if it's very, uh, if it's Right, very we're not just talking about it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's, right. we're not just talking about it's a little bit uncomfortable, we're talking about it that it's very hot. There is a truth from Revelation, that someone asked about turning about, if I remember correctly, he's about to, this question, turning on the air conditioner, so he mm-hmm. says, See, he said, he actually said, he said, it's us, sir, go to a different shul. Why? <laughs> you don't have to die in a natural, go to a different shul. The old written issue is a problem, also. What? The old written issue is a problem, also. Everyone agrees they're there, also. The old DNA made the noise. To leave them, to leave them on from before Shabbos. Uh-huh. But today, everybody can't. Okay. I'll tell you, it's not a similar question. It doesn't pass by. Uh-huh. Maybe it's a commercial issue, also. And... Fine, so that's so 
<coughs> yes, so, so the Allah says, a certain case, a certain need for our kids who are makeable to have good and do things for them when they need it. This is in the 8th Ma'am Makri, and the Rebbe says, number 8, if the child needs something, he's a little bit sick, you're allowed to tell a guy to give him something not kosher, even though the adult is not allowed to give it to him, because that's Isra Der Aisa, you can tell a guy to do it. Even my Suri Taito or Mater are going to do it for them. So, yeah, so you see from here, uh, you can't have a guy do any Isser, that even the Raisa for a child. And the question is, till what age does a child have the status of a Chayla Shein Beisakana? Until what age? So Chayyuna takes a more stricter opinion. He says that until as long as the kid, kid doesn't eat regular foods. Once the kid is old enough that he eats the same everything the adults eat, he eats the same, he eats the same food, he doesn't eat any special food, then he doesn't have the din of a chayla sheim It could be like two years old already. I think so, yeah. Some two-year-old kids start eating like adult. Two, three, okay, yeah. And the Minchas Yitzchak, he's a lot more makel. He says, he compares with Yom Kippur. He says the age is until nine. Until nine years old, the child has the end of a Sakana. So just like on Yom Kippur, the halacha is a child is not allowed to fast, even for a short period, and even if he wants to, you have to stop him. It's until the age of nine. So, they, so, he, so he says the same thing with Shabbos. Shabbos, when do we treat, what age do we treat a child like a chayla that we're worried he's going to get to, like a sick person? It's until the age of nine. This is this is the Minchas Yitzchak Shita. And what, and so the next child is what about feeding a child and milk after meat? So if the child does it on his own, so you know I'm to stop him. But we said before you're not allowed to feed something not kosher to the child. Uh, you're not allowed to feed something he's not allowed to eat. So. So that is depending, depending on the age you assume to be Mekel. That there's, there's a, you know, in number 11, there's a, there's a letter from Zalman from, um, Zalman Shimon Tvarkin that in regards, he says, <coughs> he says for a very young child, for sure, after an hour, you could, you could, you could an hour after meat, you could give him, you, you could give him, um, you could give him milk, have him eat, to eat or eat, have him eat, eat or drink something else in between, and then you can already give him milk. He says if the child is older, he's not so weak, he's stronger, but if he's uh, as long and but he's but he's still under the age of bar mitzvah. So if it's hard for him, he says he could be makel. If it's hard for him, he could be made. He sh- ideally he should wait six hours, but if it's hard, he could be makel at three hours. And and for uh, young uh, and so young and young child, uh, young children who go to sleep with the bottle and they have a heart and they and they, and they need the bottle. So even though I say he says here you should try to wait an hour. If the kid can't wait an hour, so there's room to be makel. So there's, there's room to be makel more to give him or have it. Try to try to feed him something else in between. Try to rinse out, have him rinse out, and give something the kid something uh, some water to drink. So just don't don't feed him meat before he before an hour before he goes to sleep. Yeah, I'm saying, but if it happens, then you need it there, there. There's room. There's room to be makel if it's if, if there's if there's a tzeduch. You know the kid's going to sleep with a bottle of milk, so. Yeah, before I so they change the, the, uh, the American uh, Medical uh, uh, right. Association. But, goes on weight, not on age. But that has to do with quantity, with dosage. It doesn't have to do with overall how strong or weak the child is. It just means how much of the medicine does he need for his body. No, so years ago they said up to now after you change, you give a certain amount of dosage. But that's sort of not everybody at that age same 
So, so it talks about that. So the Shulchan Aruch talks about that. If he's older but he's weak, so there, there is, there, there is, there, there is a discussion about that. <laughs> but still, we have a flat. He's not a chliyah to do anything until he's uh, until he's nine years old. Even if he's strong, he's still shouldn't. He's still shouldn't fast until nine. Right. So if the kid is uh, nine years old and he's still weak, so then there is this. Then there is room. There is a discussion about that. There is.